Hello, hello, Just Start Gang. It's Shanique here from StartWeeknings.com, the home of the Just Start University 101 mentorship program for you new and aspiring Christian online entrepreneurs. This video, I'm going to walk you through how I made my latest digital tool resource lead magnet. If you haven't already watched this video where I share with you 10 of the most effective lead magnet ideas, then be sure to do so because I break down why it's so important to have a lead magnet and an emailing list even over social media. But I'm going to help you, anybody who may be struggling with Canva, how to use Canva to create a lead magnet. And I'm also going to give you some suggestion of Canva's not cutting it, where you can also find the help as well. So let's get right into the training. Hey guys, so I'm going to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, this is Canva home page. I'm going to show you what the Just Start toolkit looks like. I didn't really follow a template per se, but there are great templates that you can get inspiration from. It's really just your creativity, uh, explore the elements that Canva has, but I'm going to share with you also at the end of this, how to find, if you're not creative, where you can find templates or, or um, alternatives. But yes, so if you go to Canva and you type in A4, it's Air Force document and you want it in PDF, they usually are in PDF. So you can definitely look at, um, certain templates that they have. It's reports, templates, um, depending on what you're looking for, you can add it to it. Okay. So I just checked off a blank one and I started to just use my creative mind, but I'm going to just go back to the, my original one and just, I'm going to mimic this entire one. So I'm going to add Right, so what I did was that I, first I started, okay, let's just start with this, this blob here. And I just literally Googled blob, or Googled, I searched blob, use it, so I'll use this one, um, and change color, any colors to my thing, and I extended it. Okay. And made it make sense here. Okay. And uh, you could also see that there's a little lining here. And what I probably just did was this, duplicate it. Turn the box here. Turn it to gray. Um, made it out a bit. Position here. Can't, I'm yeah, in the way of myself. Position. For this put in the back and then you see that there's like a line okay and I can highlight it and move it over a bit okay so then um these elements here to show the picture of each tool Oof, excuse me. like that it's here frame so you could and this is, okay, guys, a lot of you have asked me this. Um, Canva has mock. And if you were to just drag mock of devices, you just drag, here, one of my guide, into the, and it's like, there you go. Guys, I don't know if I, that was a two-in-one in this video, but that's how you do a mock with Canva. <laughs> okay. But um, I go back. I'll go back and what it was, it was this one. Okay. And at there, you could upload all your, your photos as you want on Canva. I'm just going to go and find one of these things if I still have it in here. Yes. Okay. Two buddy. Drop it there, amazing, okay? And then I'm going to add font text here. Add and I put tube buddy, okay? And put the size that I need. 
awesome. And it's up to you if you want to change the font. Canva has amazing fonts. Um, these are my uploaded ones that are really old, but amazing fonts. You have the opportunity to put calligraphy, handwriting, and they'll give you the categories within that. Cool, curly, that's cool. So you'll see fonts that have curls to it. That's nice. Right, and then I'm going to then, I have a description here and expert for YouTube. Okay, I would obviously put a better description and whatever font size. Okay, so this font size is 12. Okay, it doesn't look that big. If I were to um, expand it real life, that 100%. This is what this is what people are seeing, so they can actually read it. Okay, it's not straining on the eye. I'll just go back to 50%. Okay, and. Yeah, so keep that in mind. You don't want 30, a uh, 32 font for your description. It's a little too big, so let's do, yeah. And then what you can do to make it sync, you could highlight this whole thing and again, duplicate it. So press that and you duplicate it and that's what I did. So um, all I have to do now is drag another tool not too sure why it's so close and write Milo instead so and um, the description wealth app and I think you just move everything over so it falls back into place and so on and repeat Okay, so to get this text on the side here, all I did was text. Um, obviously, I can just copy it and put it down, but I want to show you how I did it. So um, text and I uh, would say digital tools, whatever. Um, I find the font. Go back to what it's being used already. Here. And you simply just twist it around. And add here. Okay, you can just I could just duplicate it and write um online. Change the font. I had this. Make it a little smaller. Again, create as feel as it feels comfortable to you. Um, explore the fonts. Don't stress yourself out. It's just it's probably better, especially when it comes to a checklist, a resource list, um, even a guide. To make it as simple as possible, you don't want to take months with this research um, for this lead magnet. The main reason is to give your audience great value. The content means more than the actual appearance, so they need to be able to still benefit. It doesn't mean it means nothing if it looks beautiful and they get nothing, no value from it. So, be more concerned about the actual context of your lead magnet over the actual visual. But if you are creative and you can master uh, Canva quickly, then do so. But if you're not, I'll show you what you can do instead. But basically, all I do is copy this again and repeat, and I created what is my lead magnet, my resource tool, okay? And, at the, and as I mentioned in my video of lead magnets, I always mention to offer your audience, whoever has downloaded this is obviously warmed up, you obviously have something that they need. So to further provide a service or further provide um, value to them, definitely mention your product or your services. So at the end, I suggest three ways that they can learn from me. And it's all here. 
because these resources are amazing for your business, but how does it work for your business? And I offer them the opportunity to um, work with me and they can learn more. Or um, message me on Instagram again, because it takes a platform to build a platform. So if you are building your email list and you find that people found your website, downloaded your opt-in, give them an opportunity to also follow you on Instagram, which is going to help grow your Instagram as well. Okay. And because it's a PDF, you can link, put your link. So if I um, click on this Instagram icon, this little chain link here is where you'll put your Instagram link. So when they actually click on it, they get it. So here's the same thing. If I were to, it goes to my website. All right. Which is actually different now. So maybe I should change that. But yeah. Hopefully that helps. I always extend my my help, my support. If you follow me on Instagram, start with Neeks. You could definitely send me a DM if you need any more direction. I'll definitely do my best to support you there. So be sure to subscribe to my channel as I post every single Friday. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm forgetting. Forgive me, guys. I didn't even share with you. If you are not tech savvy, then this is your option. So Fiverr is an amazing website. It offers a database of freelance work, okay? So you can find anybody that is a graphic designer, a video editor, um, coaches are even on here, and they will help you to an extent, um, whatever you need, service. And if you go to fiber.com and you search lead, I just put lead magnets and it's, you know, someone here will help you create a lead magnet ebook and uh, format it for you. And they'll create it for you starting at pretty reasonable prices. Um, depending on how professional you want it. Usually the new freelancers start anywhere from like $10, but I wouldn't risk it so much because um, that could be a hassle. But if you're willing to check it out, then check it out. They have the great designs here um, and they will, sometimes they'll actually, you send them the outline and they'll like type it out for you. Sometimes it's just the, the actual designs, but definitely a great option to check out. Another option is Creative Market where you can download the template you put in your information. Okay. And I just put in guide here and great templates for your guide, branding guide, worksheet, creators for coaches. Um, they have so many different templates from Instagram to YouTube. Amazing website where creators have already created these templates for you and you just put in your information and you're good to go. All right, so there you have it. There you have it. I hope this helps. Okay, my friends, my Just Start game. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel for every Friday new videos. Keep up the good work. Keep up the great work. And share the good news. I'll see you in my next video. Forgive me. Clearly, I'm not here. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for the support and sus subscribing, first of all. I think I'm just going to blab on here. But you can also check out the two videos on the screen right now as you wait for my next video. Bye, guys.